Hello everyone. Thank you for joining me for a daily devotion. Luke chapter 9 verse 23 says, Then he said to them all, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny himself and take up the cross daily and follow me. Many people interpret the cross to be taken up as a burden they must carry in their lives or a strained relationship, a thankless job, a physical illness, and so forth. People will look at the difficulty and say, that's my cross and I have to carry it. Such an idea is not what Jesus meant when he said to take up your cross and follow him. Commitment to Christ means taking up your cross daily, giving up your hopes, dreams, possessions, and even your very life if you need to be for the cause of Christ. Because only if you are willing to take up your cross may you be called his disciple. The reward is worth the price. Remember that, as Jesus called his disciples to take up their cross and follow him, he too bore a cross. Christ our Lord led the way. Denying yourself means seeking the good of others before looking out for yourself. When you are willing to sacrifice your time, energy, reputation, privileges, comfort, and even your very life for the sake of Christ, you exemplify what it means to deny yourself. Perhaps the most significant way we practice self-denial is how we love and esteem our brothers and sisters in Christ. Self-denial is the basic of Christian fellowship and the service even within the church. The Bible tells us to let each of you look not only to your own understanding and interests, but also to the interests of others. Having this mindset is how we love and practice loving others and putting others first. Jesus calls us to sacrifice or to put to death our own plans and desires and stop trying to gratify ourselves. Taking up our Christ means sacrifice, laying everything on the altar. It's not half-hearted commitment. It's a full surrender to God's terms of discipleship. It's a choice to live out the truth that we are to, Christ, or to be crucified with Christ, even if it means shame, rejection, or persecution. It means being willing to share the suffering of Christ, and it's a choice that we have to make daily. There is no such thing as no cost, no sacrifice form of discipleship. We need to understand that being a Christian does not automatically make us a person uh, as a Christ follower. Just as there is a difference between being a spectator and a player, there's a difference between being a Christ fan or a Christian and a true follower of Christ. Daily death to self is bearing our cross should also not look like pride. Trevor Wax wrote that uh, one of Satan's most ingenious schemes is to twist the call to self-denial into an occasion for self-righteousness. If we are to be pure and holy, we must first commit ourselves, mind, body, and spirit, completely to Christ. We can't hold back in any area of our life from Him. And it is right to avoid situations that might encourage impure thoughts and impure actions. The best way to do this is to fill our minds with Christ by feeding our souls on daily do doses of prayer and God's Word. To take up your cross is to take a stand for Him. Even though people may poke fun of you and, yes, even persecute you, those who understand that Jesus is the only way to heaven gladly bear their cross until the day we exchange it for a crown. After all, we love because He first loved us. And remember, there's no halfway measure in following Christ and picking up your cross. It's all or nothing. It's not a hobby but a complete allegiance to Him in every corner of your heart. Christ in us is restoring our image as we grow in Christ-likeness and becoming more fully who we were created to be. And that's a cross-bearers of Christ. Because as a Christian, it is not an option to bear our cross and to follow Him.